Hi, my name is Hell. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're watching this video, if you clicked on the title, then you know I'm doing an unboxing video for the houseplant rolling tray set. So my package just arrived today. I took off the packing slip on the front so nobody can see my address, but I got the houseplant all-in-one rolling tray in the colorway coffee and cream. And I'm going to be unboxing it with you guys today. I haven't opened it at all. This is going to be my first time reaction and the first time you guys seeing it. So let's get to opening. So I got my trusty box opener, <laughs> which is just a dagger. Uh, I'm super excited for this. It said it wasn't going to get here till after Christmas, but it arrived pretty early in my opinion for them saying that it wouldn't arrive until after Christmas. So I'm super excited. <laughs> Don't try this at home. There's packing peanuts, and I hate packing peanuts. This packaging. This packaging. Okay, let's get all this packaging out the way so we can get into it. Ooh, the sun just came out. Okay, I hope I'm in the frame. But this is the packaging. So this houseplant all-in-one rolling tray, concrete. And I am living for this yellow and blue. Um, the detailing here is like raised. Feels super nice and luxurious. Like I'm opening a luxurious product, and I really like that. Now to actually open it. I am so nervous. I am so nervous. Okay. More packing peanuts. I love that. Okay, so we got house plant all in one rolling tray instructions, operating instructions. This is so cute, it's like a little booklet. It says this all in one rolling tray belongs to, you can write the little name there. And it says one, I am sorry. It says, can one truly have it all? It is a futile pursuit to leave nothing to be desired. Is there anything such as perfection? Or is the nature of life that we must always try to achieve perfection while always falling short? With this, we have answered at least one small facet of this line of questions. Yes, it is possible to have it all. And furthermore, it's possible to have it all in one. A grinder, a large beautiful surface, a place to dispense papers and store your filters, and even a little ashtray, all in a gorgeous marble concrete. Perhaps the nature of, this, of life itself is to feel unfulfilled, incomplete, but also perhaps with this object we defy the nature order of the universe. We bring you something that is actually everything. We really like this thing. Enjoy. Seth and Evan. And just to emphasize, it is made out of concrete. Everyone um, was saying that it was made out of ceramics. It's not made out of ceramics. It's definitely concrete. 
so there's no easily breaking this thing and just further in the instructions it just goes into um, the features of the rolling tray it says that the total weight of this is 6.5 pounds and it is made out of high grade concrete and mineral pigments made by Concrete Cat in Montreal, Canada. So cute. So it tells you step one, using a grinder. The ashtray and then like basically the care and steps to like, you know, maintain it. And it comes in this cute little booklet. Okay, now to the real stuff. Let's get rid of these peanuts. My cat decided to join our unboxing here. Everyone, welcome Yuki. It says house plant rice papers. So cute. the house plant filter tips comes with 50 filter tips okay, hold on. I'm gonna just step out of frame and give her rid of all of these packing peanuts because they're really annoying and then I'll zoom right back in let's just start with the main piece it has good weight to it, but it's not like so weighty to the point that it's like, oh my god, like my arm is about to fall off. It's like a good weight. And it feels good quality. This right here says thank meow. <laughs> thank meow. Concrete cat. So that's like the company that helped. Well, I guess it's like a collaboration with Concrete Cat. Wow. Like how beautiful is that? And they state that, um, oh that's cute, they have the little logo right here. They state that, um, None of these rolling trays come out exactly the same, like each one comes out with its own little uniqueness. Like not each one is identical. This is so beautiful. Like this is like a homeware piece, like it feels like a homeware piece. I can put this on a coffee table, on a dinner table, and it's not going to look tacky. <laughs> like this is actually a very beautiful piece. I decided to go with um, coffee and cream as well. Cause don't get me wrong, like the one that he had in his video when he initially introduced his tray, I'll insert like a little clip of that video here. So you guys can see which colorway I'm talking about. That colorway is beautiful, but I just feel like the neutrals here will just work with like any decor, any home. So I went with this coffee cream kind of color. This is like the grinder bottom piece. This is interesting. So it looks like this. not what I expected so it's like literally like that's how you grind it wow and this is very weighty too so it's like a motion 
like that. I'm gonna do a close up of all of these on like a table so you guys can get a little better view as well. But this is so beautiful. Okay, for the final item, I believe it's the ashtray. has the concrete cat logo on the bottom of this one too I'm gonna do like a little montage segment right now of like a close-up of everything so you guys can take a final look and then I'm going to give my final opinions on how I feel about this Okay, so final opinion on the tray. Is it worth it? I personally think it's worth it. Um, I still have to, you know, test drive it without getting into too many details so this video doesn't get deleted. Um, unfortunately, I can't try the house plant plant with this because they don't sell that here yet. They only sell that in California but it is legal here in New Jersey, but just waiting for Houseplant to, you know, come over here or for me to go to California to try it. But this will still be getting test drived, but for aesthetic purposes and for house decor purposes, this is such a gorgeous piece. And I definitely think it was worth the price point due to it being, um, each one being one of one and a unique piece, not one is exactly alike. And it is handmade. And again, it's 100% concrete. And I just think that Seth Rogen and Concrete Cat did an incredible job on this piece. Like I said, this is a home decor piece. It's not just a tray for smoking purposes. It's, it's literally home decor and smoking accessories all in one and it's just a beautiful piece so i definitely think it's worth the price point and for those that would buy one and didn't think it was worth the price point i'm gonna insert how much it's selling for on stock x right now to have sold so far at these price points like sort of tripled in price so even if you didn't think that the price point of $485 is worth it, right now it's selling for nearly $2,000, so. That's just my personal opinion on this. And that's really all I have to say in regards to this rolling tray. I'm in love with it and I can't wait to use it. That's all for this video. Leave your opinions down about this controversial rolling tray in the comments. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Fighting, crying, trying to save.